What's up guys, my name is Adrian Rivera and today I'm going to show you how to set up MIDI on FL Studio 20 so we can start getting your MIDI controllers to work. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Novation Launch Key Mini and the Elysis V49. But this will work no matter what kind of MIDI controller you have. It doesn't need to be a keyboard, it could be a generic MIDI mixer or a sample launcher. Just as long as you can connect via USB to your computer. Now if you've been subscribed to me, you might have watched the video about the Novation Launch Key Mini that I made a couple weeks back. And if you want to go check out the video, there's a card right here. But apparently a lot of people have been having problems with setting up their Novation launch key with FL Studio 20 so I thought I would make a video showing how to do just that and sorry for the slight delay in uploading guys today was my second day of senior year but I'm gonna try my best to not let that stop me from posting videos weekly if you have any questions make sure you leave them down in the comments below or DM me on my social media like Instagram or Twitter if you want to get into contact with me and ask me some questions about making music or if you want to show me some of your songs or maybe even just say hi links are down in the description so make sure you check those out but without further ado let's get into this tutorial so first thing you're gonna want to do is go into options so click the options bar and you'll see under system there's a tab called MIDI settings all you're going to want to do is click that now what's going to happen is you're going to be brought up with this tab and if you click controller type you'll see all the different MIDI controllers you can use with FL Studio and if your controller isn't on this list don't worry FL Studio will still work with it these controllers just have special features that FL Studio will recognize and will allow for better use but first things first what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my Novation Launch Key Mini into my computer. And when I do, you're going to notice that it's going to pop up in the input and output box in the MIDI settings tab. Boop. So now you'll notice that it says Launch Key Mini. But if I try to click the keyboard, nothing happens. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to the enable circle. And all you're going to do is click it to turn it on. And make sure under controller type, you select the Novation Launch Key keyboard if it's not there. Now you'll notice that two things are labeled in the input section. If you read over here, you'll notice that this MIDI in 2 is meant for the launch key mini but only when it's in performance mode. So if you're ever going to use this in performance mode, you're going to want to make sure that this is enabled. And do the same thing, make sure controller type, launch key, performance is selected. And now if we go over to FL keys and we click this, you'll be able to hear it. Now let me go over a couple of things with you. Basically what this input section is telling you is that anything that's enabled in here, FL Studio will be receiving MIDI notes from. And anything in the output section, FL Studio will be sending notes to. So if you have anything like a synthesizer that you want FL Studio to send MIDI signals to, you would see it under this output section. But if you have anything that you want to use to control FL Studio, more than likely you'll see it come up in the input section. Now you'll notice these numbers right here. Uh, there's 170 and 165. These are the port numbers. Basically what port numbers are, it's just to organize things and let FL Studio know which controller is which. So basically if you had two things in the same port, FL Studio would get confused and things just wouldn't work. So you always want to make sure that the port numbers are set to different things for different types of keyboards. Now I think the default port for the Launch Key Mini is 165 and 170 for the performance. But if yours ends up not being those numbers, don't worry about it as long as they're different numbers from each other. So next I'm going to be showing you how to set up a generic controller to FL Studio. And by generic controller, I basically mean anything that wasn't in this controller type list. So first thing you're going to want to do is plug in the controller. All right, so now that I plugged it in, you'll see that it's labeled as V49. And basically, we're just going to be doing the same thing. Whatever pops up after you plugged in your controller, make sure you click enable and make sure that the ports are a different number than everything else. So you'll notice that there's no number on this port. I'm just going to set it to one. And you're going to want to make sure that when you go to controller type, you select generic controller so FL Studio knows that's what it is. And if for some reason when you plug in your controller and nothing shows up, click refresh device list and it should be there. But anyway, now if I play the Elysees, you'll notice that FL Studio receives those notes. So if you want to check out any of the controllers I use in this video, I always have links down in the description for all of my equipment. And that's in like every single one of my videos. But anyway, guys, that's how to set up MIDI in FL Studio 20. If this video helped you at all, make sure you leave a like. If you want to see more music production content, make sure you subscribe. I always try to upload weekly, so I stay pretty consistent with these videos. Make sure to leave a comment on which MIDI controller you have. And if you have any questions, make sure to comment them as well or DM me on my social media. And make sure to check out some of my music on Spotify or iTunes or Apple Music, anywhere you really listen to your music on. And I have links in the description for all of that. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And remember, don't be afraid to show your genius. Everything will be alright